Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and today's video is a little bit of a shake up because I haven't done a haul in what feels like forever. I have been kind of just like holding off on some hauls for a while and I've got a new lot of clothes in today and I thought I would share something a little bit different, a bit more stylized. So if you've seen the title then you know already that this haul is going to be all black outfits which is a bit of a mood because I feel like we are mourning the loss of our social lives and I just really miss dressing up. The items that I've chosen are fairly dressy so I feel like I just wanted to just get a little bit dressed up and wear clothes that I've not been wearing in a long time. I really miss dresses, I miss going to events and parties and socialising with my friends. So I've picked out quite a few like dressy pieces here. They are all black and they are all from a brand called Vespa 247 or Vespa 247 whatever you prefer to um, use. If you are new to this channel, then hello, my name is Alice Bradley. I post regular fashion, lifestyle, and manifestation content over on this channel. So if you are new, then please do not forget to subscribe. So with all the formalities being mentioned, I thought I would hop straight into this video because I'm so excited to show you. I have had already a little bit of a try on and a look at the pieces last night. You know when you like get really excited and you just can't help yourself and you just get all the clothes on. I had to just see what was working for me. And it was like one of those things where one piece after another was a vibe and it just made me want to film this haul even quicker. So let's get started. I've got the first piece here, which um, is very dressy, but is a vibe guys. So I will put all the um, information on screen so you don't need to worry about um, pricing and things. But the first piece I have is this beautiful asymmetric dress which has these lovely little um almost like tassel -y bits to them and they're darted at the top there so they're not meant to be like necessarily bowed up or um knotted together they really sit nicely over on the side of the shoulder and i just really like the overall feel and texture of the materials. I find Vespa 247 has a really high quality feel to it, and that's what I really enjoy. I would say if you're between sizes, maybe size up because it is very fitted. Um, but for me, I think it's true to size. It fits me. I'm a size 10 for Vespa 247, so if you feel like you have a similar uh, body type to me, then maybe opt for that. I would say that if you have maybe bigger boobs, then think about that in terms of sizing because you will feel slightly more restricted in different areas depending on what your assets are. But I think everybody can enjoy this brand. I really, really like the asymmetry. I think an off the shoulder number is so much fun. It's really demure and sexy. And I can just imagine wearing this kind of piece to a really nice formal dinner that I know I won't be attending, but a girl can dream. Um, this is what it looks like at the top. It's a really long piece. So in the try on clip next, you're gonna see it in its full glory and I hope it does it justice. But the dress is super long. It's got a slit on the side and I just really like it. It's got a zip all the way at the back there and then halfway probably to the base of the spine. So in terms of accessing the dress, there's quite a lot of access there. But I really like this piece. Let's see it tried on because I know you guys are itching to see what it actually looks like on. This is what the asymmetric dress looks like. I absolutely adore the top half of the dress. This is really, really flattering. And this is what I meant by the fact that these little tassely bits hang off the shoulder, but I don't think they're meant to be tied up. I think they fall perfectly and actually shape your shoulders really nicely. Um, it's a really comfortable dress. I can see myself wearing this in the summer or even the winter. Sorry, I'm just literally pulling up my, I'm pulling up my knickers, that's so funny. Um, but this piece I just love. I think it just works so well. Um, I've never actually owned a dress like this. I've always enjoyed um, an asymmetric moment. You guys know that, but I've never actually owned anything long full length and just classy and easy and simple. I really wish we had some like evening parties to go to but we do not. So maybe I'll just have to wear this to the dinner table um, just to make life feel a little bit more exciting. But I just wanted to show you how this piece 
kind of falls on a um, normal body type it is very fitted i've not got a bra on so it's got a lot of support so there's no need for a bra there's no need to worry that things are going to be moving about it is firmly in place and that's what i really love about um vespa's pieces they always fit so well and true to size so um this is what the top half of the dress looks like i'm just going to move you guys down so you can see the bottom half of the dress this is where a lot of drama comes into play there's a bit of leg going on here but what i like is the slit is not too high up it's not dramatically um high legged so there's no need to worry that you're going to flash your underwear or that it's going to be inappropriate i think it's like the perfect um height for a slit just to get a little bit of a leg out there but not too much um, but this is a really, really lovely, classy fit. Again, it's water falling down, but it's very fitted. It's not um, fishtailing out. It's just very, very fitted to the body and the form. So it's going to be really nice. It's going to be very slimming as well. I have paired it with my favorite go-to quiz shoes. These are so much fun to play with. They just look really, really quirky and cool. Um, they're from Quiz Clothing and they are one of the most comfortable shoes I own. Um, and they're really, really lovely. I will link these below in case you like this vibe and you wanna shop the dress and the shoes. I've kept it so simple there. But um, in terms of accessories, again, I wouldn't go too crazy. I would keep it quite simple maybe a chain bag or a black bag with a gold chain or something something that accents your jewelry keep your jewelry quite minimalistic um i've just got my hoops on i literally live in these hoops um they're from millie grace jewelry again linked below but i wouldn't do too much with this piece i think because there's a lot going on at the top you can get away with keeping this outfit very stripped back and simple so that is what the piece looks like on i really hope you guys like it let's check out the next pieces so the next piece that i have is the only top in this entire haul but there was something i was so drawn to about this piece again i wanted all black items but there was something really lovely about this so it's a high neck halter style floaty top and i just love it it's very a-line in terms of the way that it flows and sits on and i love the high neckline i think again it's a very classy style and um just suits everybody so what i love about this as well is it's not sheer at all like you guys cannot see through that i often find tops like this when you buy them online or with online brands they can have really sheer underneath parts and you either have to go braless and for me that's like an absolute no-go because i have really like low sitting boobs so it just looks like i've not thought about my bra situation and it just does not look flattering at all or i wear a bra and you can see it through so um yeah i really like the quality of this piece i really like the fact that it's got access buttons so you are not going to have a restricted neck there you've got buttons to get in it's really really nice it's got a slight small keyhole detailing at the back but other than that it is so simple and just really nice to wear like jeans and a nice top this is the nice top option so let's try it on and i will show you how it looks so this is the piece on i've styled it up with my absolute favorite river island um vinyl trousers i will link them below if you fancy pairing these two items together but i am absolutely blown away by the fit of this piece it's so lovely i've just tucked it in to the trousers for ease but i'll pull it out just to show you um what it looks like in terms of its length if i don't get my label caught on it gosh there we go um yeah it's got two labels here but i really really like this piece i think if you're more concerned about covering your midriff area then it is a really nice flattering length it's going to cover your whole sort of stomach area you could go with like some jeans as well if that is something that you're going for a bit more of a daytime feel but i really really like this piece it's a nice jeans and a nice top top and i actually don't have anything like this in my wardrobe i'm just going to tuck this in just to show you how easy it is to style up i really really like the way that this piece looks i think halter tops as well they just make you feel so put together 
when the look is so simple. So what I've just done is kept everything really simple up the top here. I would probably just aim for maybe a watch or rings. Um, obviously don't go for anything on your neck because you've already got the high neckline there. But you can really play around with accessories. I'll just quickly pan and show you the shoes that I've put on. I've got my absolute favourite um, Ego Official um, pump shoes. These are really, really fun. Square toe. This look is going to be super girl bossy and really, really fun to wear. I just love it so much. Oh, I don't think I've done enough there to show you. Um, me. But yeah, really, really like this piece. I feel so confident in it, actually. And um, yeah, really, really love it. So I really hope this has done it justice and showed you how to style it. I am going to be wearing this so much over on my Instagram, so head over there guys if you want to see me styling this up. It is such a cute piece. Now moving on to the next item in this haul, we've got a similar vibe to the top which is really exciting but this time it's a jumpsuit. So we've got the same sort of styling going on on the neckline here, we've got a nice structured high neck, nice and demure, a halter style and then it floats down into a wide leg um, jumpsuit trouser. I think this is a really gorgeous piece. It's really important to have a jumpsuit in your wardrobe because you never know when you're going to need one. I know it's hard to say that now when we're basically not even going outside, but it is one of those pieces that is timeless and you just never know when you're going to need a jumpsuit. I promise you they're worth having in your wardrobe and I just really like this style. I thought it was very simple. You could style it up with a designer belt or just a belt in general um, around this sort of part here around the waistline. You could structure it with a blazer. You could literally go anywhere with this piece it's a nice basic starting point and i just really liked the way that it looked on the model so um, i have already tried it on but i'm going to show it in the next clip i did really like it on and again it's got the buttons here so you can do up one or two and you've got a nice secure neckline there and then what i love about it is the fact that the zip starts at the base there so the base of the back you've got a bit of structure supporting you but it's got a little bit of back showing so it's not like fully covering you there's a bit of something going on a lot of the attention is on the back of the piece but i really like this and I really want to show you what it looks like on so let's try this piece on so looking at this piece on i really really like the halter style again i think it's really flattering on i am just loving the open back there i hope you guys can see that um, i really think keyhole detailing at the back of the piece is a nice way just to break up the style a little bit so it doesn't feel too heavy on the body or as if you're completely covered head to toe but i really enjoy the fit of this it is so so comfortable and i can just imagine myself wearing this to a garden party or a dinner just something that's going to be so easy and just a piece that you would throw on and not have to worry about much else i would definitely go for a pop of color in terms of my bag i would definitely put a lot of effort into what my accessories are and i would 100 percent go for like really bold jewelry at the moment again i've only got my hoops in but you could go really all out with the jewelry here um just ensuring that you're not doing anything to the neckline because the neckline is already <laughs> dramatic enough so i'm just going to pan down and show you the bottom half of the jumpsuit I really love it. I think the only issue that I have here is that I am quite short. I am about five foot three. So there is a lot of fabric at the bottom here. My shoes are covered up. I would really like it if I could kind of pull up a bit of material and have it a little bit shorter. So obviously it hits the foot, but it doesn't completely swamp the toe there. So you can't actually see what's going on. Um, so I can expect when we're out of lockdown, I will have to get this piece tailored, but I'm not mad about it. I think it's just inevitable really with a jumpsuit. You just have to imagine that tall people are going to buy this outfit as well. Um, perhaps Vespa 247 can have a petite section. I'm not sure that they do, but um, when it comes to things like this, jumpsuits are always hit and miss. Wide leg trousers can be hit and miss 
too so to have something that fits well and is the right height is always a bit of a gamble so that would be my only advice i would probably get this taken in and just made a little bit shorter on the hemline of the legs but other than that i absolutely love this piece i think it works so well is a really nice basic and because we're doing this haul and it's all about like little black dresses little black pieces you are going to get so much wear out of these items they are um just ideal for when we have parties and events again who knows when that's going to happen i know it's quite hard for me to be um selling you these kind of items when we're still in a lockdown but i think it's always nice to have something ready for when we can get back out there and i just can't wait to wear all these items this is going to be um, a well-worn piece and i'm really looking forward to it so um, absolutely love this i think it's fabulous now moving on to a more party piece oh my gosh guys i can picture myself in a club in this dress i cannot wait to show you it it's so cool again a staple piece that you would need in your wardrobe and it is this beautiful strapless mini dress so what i loved instantly about this was the fact that the front pieces are pointed they're a bit of an edgier take on a sweetheart neckline so you've got something a bit more sexy a little bit more mature and a bit more modern i feel like sweetheart necklines are exactly what they say on the tin sweethearty and very girly whereas something like this is a lot more edgy a lot more sexy and just it just looks cool on everybody i love it i think it's a really classy vibe and just something a bit different um what i really like about this is i struggle sometimes with strapless dresses being supportive enough and making um the boob area look nice and uplifted but still natural i don't want my boobs falling out of my dress but i also don't want them like pushed down and pushed like low and flat to my body so to have something like this is a godsend um and i think if you've got natural boobs like me you're going to want to style a dress like this any boobs are gonna do for this but i just i just think for all my girls that struggle with a good dress that just holds everything in you're going to want something like this so what i love about it as well is it's got it's really hard to show it on camera actually but there is some small paneling going on here so as you get closer to the piece there's a lot more structure to it it will fit you in a very elegant way black again is a very classy and elegant color it just works for everyone and it does wonders for the figure so that's the piece on the front and then to the back we've just got a really simple um hidden black zip so it just looks completely flawless seamless and lovely and then i'll just show you the length it's a mini dress so let's get this tried on guys i think you're gonna love this one so this is what the strapless dress is looking like i'm really enjoying the overall vibe i'm just gonna show you up close um i do really like this piece and i think it's very flattering it kind of just depends how confident you feel in terms of how much cleavage you want to show if you want to show none at all i think if i was to wear this out i would definitely look to um get some like boob tape just to give it a little bit of oomph and a bit more structure so i would like to see um the dress kind of sitting higher up here but naturally so i'm not having to pull it up and then <laughs> fiddle i don't know if you guys have ever done that before but um, all my natural boob girls will know that the boob tuck is a real thing um, and it's just the only way to make our boobs look good and not like they're completely falling out of our dresses. So if you can agree with me there, then um, girl, we are exactly the same. I really like this piece though. I think it's very comfortable. It's fitted, it's, it's form fitting. It's not uncomfortable at all. Um, I'm just gonna pan down so that you can see the bottom of the dress i really like it there is a point at which you pull the dress up and you get this little um slight bumping in the back there i don't know whether you can see it towards my bum but yeah it kind of means i have to go in and kind of adjust the dress pull the dress down which inevitably leads to um my boobs slightly coming out of the dress there but um, it's all about just finding what works for you and what feels comfortable but I think the boob tape would work quite well just to hold it all together and um, make it feel a little bit more smooth. 
Um, overall, I really like the length. I think that the length is demure. It's not too short and it's not too long. It's like the perfect dress for clubbing. I really miss um, going out with my friends and <laughs> going to a nice club or bar. Oh, I cannot wait to do that. But yeah, I have to say I do hoist up a few times. Um, I would just like to see it a little bit more, a little bit higher. But that's not to say that this dress isn't fabulous in its own way. I've kept it really simple. I've just got my um, Lily Rose London jewellery going on there. And then um, my Monica Venada. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a small basic chain there. And then my Majuri boyfriend stacker and just um, my Mark Mirren ring. And then my everyday ring, which is a Pandora ring. I don't think they sell that anymore, but I've kept my jewelry, just my everyday, my hoops in. I've not done anything major. Um, it's just a very simple outfit. And then for shoes, I'll just pan back down because I decided to pair um, my lubes with this dress. Um, I feel like Louboutins are like the perfect simple black shoe they are like the classic club shoe so if you're looking for a nice pair of heels to wear like out to dinner out to bars and clubs get yourself a pair of lubes because they go with everything like they go with this entire haul um and they're just so versatile so i paired it with this dress just to give it a bit of a clubby feel but um yeah it's made me really want to go out now so that's a bit annoying because it's literally like 3 p.m on a tuesday so it's not it's not really gonna happen is it but um yeah i really really like the overall look of this piece as i said it just needs a few little adjustments and it's going to be spot on but overall not too bad now moving on to the final piece in this all black vespa 247 haul guys i think i've saved the best till last here because this is by far my favorite dress in this entire haul. It's kind of giving me um, Lorna Lux vibes. So if you've seen this picture of me in Paris in this halter dress from In The Style, then you are going to want to pay attention to this dress because it's very similar, but it's got something a little bit extra to it that I think is going to blow your mind. Um, again, I've gone for the same style here. Clearly um, a girl who likes the same taste throughout but we've got another haul to dress this time it is a super low back number it is going to halt it at the top here and then it is completely backless now are you ready for this the bit that's going to completely change your dress game i'm just going to structure it so you can see it well enough but it has this amazing bow on the back here oh my gosh how beautiful is that um i feel like i'm not doing it justice like holding this up so we're going to skip to the try on clip i hope i can show you how beautiful this piece is you guys are going to want this dress it is just the ideal like first date dress i cannot wait to get dating again because this is going to be worn like a hundred percent um it's just the perfect, it's kind of giving me Audrey Hepburn vibes, like Roman Holiday. Um, what's the one that where she's in France, in Paris? Is it Happy Face? Funny Face? Happy Face? One of those films. I think it's Funny Face, actually. But um, it's just giving me, like, Audrey Hepburn vibes. I really, really love it. And, um, yeah, I just, as soon as I saw it, I was like, wow, that's not, that's not a want. That's a need. Um, and I think you guys are going to agree with me on that. So, Let's skip to the try on, see what you think. And um, yeah, I think you're gonna love this piece. So this is the final dress in the haul and it's by far my favorite. It ticks every single box. We've got this beautiful halter style, which is a bit more rounded and a little lower down. So it's not so intense and high on your neck. If you find you get a bit of a restricted feeling with a high neck, this sits quite low down. So it's a more comfortable way to wear the halter vibe. But look at the back, guys. I cannot deal with how cute this piece is. It works so perfectly and looks effortless. I just adore it. And the bow is just the perfect size. It's not like overdone. It doesn't look really um, tacky. It just looks so super classy and perfect. So I really, really like how the top half of this piece is looking. I'm just going to pan down 
and show you the bottom half. So we've got a bit more of a fitted pencil skirt situation. It's just below the knee and I've paired it again with my Louboutins. I really love um, lubes for this look. I think it's so classy and would definitely be a first date outfit. I think it just looks lovely. It's fitted, it's figure hugging. It's just supportive in all the best places. I love the fact that the pencil skirt just sits underneath the bum and just gives you the most incredible figure. So this is what the piece is looking like. I feel like I'm a bit lost for words, to be honest, because it's just wonderful. And I don't really need to say too much about it because it does all the talking. Um, but I did mention in the previous clip that it was very similar to my um, In The Style Lorna Lux dress, just because of the drop back um, it's got that kind of vibe, so I can just imagine myself going on a really cute date in Paris. That would be the perfect way to wear this dress and just beautiful. Um, yeah, you can see my little tattoo there. Well, I say little, it's not actually that small. But um, yeah, it's just perfect. I think it it's my kind of dress. I do really enjoy showing off um, my tattoo. So that's something that I like to um, show off in a different way. Like I don't do it all the time, but I think that's what I quite like about this dress. It's quite romantic. And um, just having the tattoo on show is a little bit symbolic for me. So I really, really like this piece, but I hope you guys like it too. Um, yeah, absolutely love this piece. This is by far the winner for me. So really happy with this haul overall. So that's it for my little black dress and a top of a haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Which piece was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Let me know as well if you'd like to see more stylized hauls like this, stuff that's kind of stripped back to one particular theme or fashion or trend, um, then I would love to hear from you. Also as well, Follow me over on Instagram. I have recently just hit 10K over there. So I would absolutely love to have you as part of my Alice Lucy Bradley community. I really look forward to seeing you guys very, very soon. Stay safe and stay sweet.